Good morning, healers. Dr. Freeman here. Hey, I just wanted to follow up with my from my instructor's response from discussion board number one. I know a few of you are kind of flipping out, and I've talked to a couple of you on the phone already, and I do want to talk to everyone who had some issues about your specific issues. So do plan to give me a call. Again, my cell is 719-580-2737 so that we can talk about your specific issues. But the purpose for this video is, like I said, to follow up on my instructor's response and sort of the three common issues or problems that I saw throughout discussion board one. And so I wanted to give you guys ample opportunity to improve discussion number two. Before um, I get into those three areas or problem areas, I did want to um, just sort of let you know, don't worry about your grade, okay, at this juncture, especially the grade that you'll get at the end of the term. Discussion boards are worth one third of your final grade, but I do throw in a curve at the very end. So um, likely this, this first discussion will, won't it won't impact your final grade as much as everything else going forward. I do try to ease you into this online environment. I know a lot of you don't have experience with that, just like I try to ease you into APA. But always, if you have a question, please, please reach out to me. It's my job to help you be successful. Um, so the first thing I wanted to talk about was sort of the, the flow and thoroughness of your discussions. All right. Um, a lot of you tried to post your discussion as if you were answering each of those questions that um, were posted. And some students can do that and do that in a way that um, is fluid and is organic and is like having a conversation. But more often than not, I think people, generally speaking, have difficulty doing that. So the questions are really designed as just sort of a guide um, to get you to, to sort of think about the things that you need to be pulling from the readings. I really want this to be more of a conversation. You know, we don't have the luxury of being in a face-to-face -face classroom. So the discussion boards are our classroom. So what caught your eye in the readings? And so in an original discussion, I want you to kind of talk about that. I want a little summary of what you read, and I want to know, you know, using those guiding questions, what do you think about that? How does that impact your daily life in higher education? Throw some research in there, some data to back it up. Related, I need to make sure that you're reading all of the materials, not just the Cohen and Kisker book. I know the Cohen and Kisker book will talk about things that are the, the additional readings um, I've assigned, but I have assigned those additional readings because they're very important points in higher education's history. And this class is really the foundation for your whole program. Um, if you're not getting stuff in this class, you're going to have difficulty going forward because understanding where we came from is so important to understanding why we are where we are today and will help us to make better decisions about our future and the leaders that we are, that you are going to be in higher education. So it's important that when I read your discussions, and I read your discussions holistically, meaning I'll go, in, go into the grade board, I'll read your original thought, and I'll read all of your follow-ups to your colleagues thereafter. And so I'll read you holistically. And then if I can say, you know, I don't see where this person has addressed this article. I don't see whether they've read it or that they understood it. Then I need to know. I know that I need to, to come to you for some corrective measures. Um, so if you if you misunderstood something in the readings, then I need to address that in the class so that we are all on the same page and we are understanding the materials. So I, I grade you holistically. So even if you're not addressing certain readings in your original thought, be sure that when you're responding to your colleagues, you are hitting on those additional readings. It's very important. Um, related, you need to respond to at least two, a minimum of two of your colleagues. Like I said, we don't have the luxury of a face-to-face -face environment. This is our classroom. If you aren't engaged, it doesn't do you any good or your classmates any good. This is where the learning happens. Um, and, and I really view my role as that of a facilitator. You're going to learn so much more from one another than you will ever learn from me. Um, finally, late posts. I really have to be a stickler about this because, like I said, we don't have the luxury of a face-to-face -face class. And even if we did, if we had class on Monday and Wednesday night, and you miss a Monday and come on Wednesday, we're not going to discuss Monday again to catch you up. So you need to be engaged. You need to be in there. You need to be posting on time. Um, and I understand life happens, okay, but th really keep the, the, the instances to a minimum because it's important that we're engaged and that we're learning this material. This class, like I said, is the foundation. So 
Um, that's really sort of it. I wanted to, to, to follow up. Um, if any of you have any questions, please call me. Again, my cell is 719-580-2737. Um, and be sure to read all of my instructor's responses. When you go in, be sure to read my comments in your specific grade book um, and, and give me a call. Okay? Um, looking forward to the rest of the semester. And, oh, and, and if you need to do an addendum to your own posting on Sunday, do that to make sure I am, I can see that you're, you've got, you're getting all the material. Anyway, looking forward to the rest of the semester. Any questions, give me a holler. Um, I'm accessible. Okay. Have a great weekend. Bye.